Allison, you may think your home is becoming safer through modern technology, but there may be items inside your house right now actually making it even more dangerous. And you might not even know it. And tonight, our Kirk Mason is literally taking us inside a house fire to explain the danger and what you can do to protect your family. The warning sound of a smoke detector is a critical part of the story behind what saved an Allegan County family from this fire at their Martin home. But it's only part of the story. The family's two children climbed out a window, dropped onto the roof and over the porch before shimming down a bush to get help from their grandfather next door. He got out a ladder to save the parents. The children's father told me through an email, quote, we had on multiple occasions discussed what to do in the event of a fire. The plan we ended up using was our secondary escape plan. Planning ahead can make a critical difference. When something like that happens, you only have moments to make all the right decisions. Working smoke detectors and an escape plan are not new, but firefighters tell us they are more important now than ever. Today's furniture burns much faster, much hotter than old furniture. Firefighters set up a test to help us show you that fires are becoming more dangerous. Using this vacant home, we work with firefighters in Comstock and Ashtamo Townships. Two furnished bedrooms. Firefighters start the fire outside those rooms. Inside the rooms, we set up cameras to give you an inside look at the fire. Fire started at 1050. Hallway detector is active. But you don't have to be inside this home to understand the danger. After the fire is started, the first evidence outside is smoke. And firefighters tell us what this smoke looks like is very important. I mean, it looks like smoke you would get if you burned a pan of gasoline or a pan of diesel fuel. Because it's just, it's, it's solid gasoline. So that smoke is going to be black, thick, and just nasty for you. Unsurvivable smoke. Inside the house, our cameras pick up the smoke detector going off after the fire starts. But it doesn't take long for our inside view to be gone. The reason that thick, black, nasty smoke is blocking the view. The fuel for this potentially deadly smoke is the furniture in the rooms. Similar materials are likely in your home right now. Most people in for, uh, home fatalities die from smoke inhalation, not burns. And it's, it is truly that, that thick, dark smoke that we saw. Since it's not likely we are all going to change the furniture in our homes, what do we do? Firefighters say smoke detectors that are no older than 10 years, preferably interconnected, so they go off all over the house. They need to be in each bedroom and common areas. And families need to discuss and practice an escape plan before a fire ever happens. If you think a practiced escape plan is not necessary, remember the words of an Allegan County father whose family survived a damaging house fire. Quote, when something like that happens, you only have moments to make all the right decisions. Fire agency after fire agency we spoke to told us there is no question. Fires are burning faster now than they used to, cutting into firefighter response times, which is why working smoke detectors are so critical so you can escape in time. According to the National Fire Protection Association, seven people die every day from a house fire in the United States, and 92% of all structure fire deaths are the result of house fires. Kirk Mason, News Channel 3.